Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your host. Welcome to the Red Closet. Y'all, Junior coming. He think he about to read me, but little do he know. I'm with all of that tonight. I ain't getting no sleep either. Hey, Chris. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are talking about BBLs. Here he come. Let me get up in this motherfucker and get you together. I can't like, you. you know, do is come in on any platform I'm on while I'm motherfucking entertaining like you that, that bitch, okay? Sweetie, I've been letting these hoes have it today, and you not an exception to the motherfucking rule. I don't Just because you really go get you a little haircut, haircut, don't come on here acting all cute and shit. Because yesterday, I'm glad you didn't come. Yeah, let, me, let me get you together. I'm not. What's her name? 504? 504? 5 minus 4? Whoever she is. I'm not her. Baby, Karanda better leave me the fuck alone because she got the right nigga now. Who? That 504 bitch. That's her real name. Karanda, 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 Karunda Bridges. Whatever that, I don't know how to pronounce it. When her mama gave her that name, her mama ain't like her. So her mama named her that because her mama didn't even know how to motherfucking spell it. And I love her mama because her mama could cook down. Oh, so you met her mom and all? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to get into that on another one. Oh, my God. What's up, Zevo? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Share the live. Come on in. Have a seat. Put on your seatbelt. You met her mama? And this bitch got the nerves. Girl, by the time I finish eating you up and spinning you out, bitch, you going to wish I was the wrong bitch on social media to fuck with. You got the right hoe now. I'm, I'm done after that. I ain't know all Her that. Cause you know, I'm coming in on the back end, so I'm like, what's going on? Her fake cancer having ass. Bitch, show me your motherfucking port since you go to all this chemo. You have y'all ever heard anybody that go through chemo and skip every chemo? They travel, they go to every every other week they traveling, are they on a cruise or something and skipping chemo talking about they doubling up on chemo. Bitch, how you doubling up on chemo? <laughs> Girl, you trying to you trying to go to an early grave doubling up on chemo. You heard her. She double up on chemo. <laughs> That's girl, a new one. Girl, you know what? That could be a whole lot. Like, what's the topic tonight? What's the topic? What's the topic? These BBLs? Cosmetic surgery? You ain't missed nothing already. Hey, right he there. already with it. Girl, these hoes these thought they was playing in my face. And, and I'm letting them have it tonight. Say you playing in my you been playing in my face. Let me know now, girl, so I can read you now. You been playing in my face, oh. Oh bitch, you tried it. Don't start oh. with me tonight. What you eating? Girl, ever since you ain't got in this relationship, you just unless yourself why go. You, you just why are we even talking about that? You I think you mad. You mad? <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. Not much. Just a just a tad. Not much. Don't 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 get excited. Oh my god, you so aggravating. But we need to talk about this. Um, these BBLs though. Why you tell me the men were getting the BBLs in the life three sixties? The you life of three sixties. Oh, I I thought you knew that. No, I'm late to the game. Oh, my God. Please, y'all, don't start with him looking beautiful. Hey, Tiff, please don't. Oh, my God. Thank you, boo. 
Thank you, Tiffany. Anyway, so BBL, so, you know, I, I can't speak too much on this because, you know, when you have an organic BBL, you you just, you don't understand how these, when, you, when it's organic, you can't speak on shit when it's not real. Like, you know, I can't, I don't know what I don't know what you want me to say on this topic. So I need I need to hear what you got to say about it. You know I'm gonna time. If in. you didn't have a booty, would you get one? Girl, I'm trying to have a BB tape back. I want some of this ass taken away. I want some of these thighs sucked out because I'm tired of it. This shit weighing on me, bitch. I be walking, I be feeling heavy. I'm tired of it. Okay? Y'all know how y'all be walking around talking about y'all want a breast reduction, bitch? I want an ass reduction because I'm tired. It's weighing on me, bitch. I'm tired. I'm tired. So for all y'all hoes getting BBLs, ask me, just ask me for some of mine, bitch. And, and maybe we can talk to the doctor, transfer a little bit from me, and put it on you. Girl, you want me to hold on. I Baby, I can't. I can't. You try to make the voice. I don't, I don't want the niggas in my DM for that. I don't want the niggas in my DM. But if you go down my timeline, baby, I got the, th the thighs and stuff out for you. <laughs> oh, is it real good on your haircut, though? No see, no shade. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You better stop, baby, because you know we can have a whole hour of them just looking at you. Right? <laughs> Get into me, right? I love y'all streaming. <laughs> y'all know how we do. And the bad thing about it, we like this all the time. <laughs> stop. The only difference is y'all y'all in it too. Baby, ooh, this got ready so motherfucking good. Baby, I put it in the freezer and it's got a little bit of slush in there. Ooh. That'd be the best. I done stole one of the kids' Kool Aid jam. <laughs> I'm on it. Uh, let me tell you, I done fell down the steps this morning. I hit my damn toe. Did you fall down the steps or did that nigga I put fall. you down the steps? I fell. Girl, you already getting abused. You ain't been in a relationship 72 hours and you getting abused already? Girl, this who need help. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, let's but let's get back on the subject. So how do you feel about cosmetic surgery? Like you think people okay, do it? So I'll just side before we before I, I throw any type of shade trees or anything, I'll just side. So you know, a lot of people be wanting this cosmetic surgery, right? And guys, y'all have to understand that it's all about the wording. The insurance does insurance does not pay for anything cosmetic, right? But if a doctor deem it necessary based on a health reason, insurance will pay for cosmetic surgery. You will still have to pay whatever your insurance percentage is after the fact, but they will actually pay it depending on how a doctor write up the statement to get it done. Right. So when these doctors, when you go into these doctors and they ask you certain questions, before you answer, think about what they ask you because they ask you these questions for a reason. Because when they answer these questions based on how you responded, when they send it to the insurance, that's how the insurance bill whether they're going to pay for something or whether they're not going to pay for it. So right. be mindful of how you answer questions. That's how I'm going to say on that because y'all hoes not going to be like, oh, he helping us fraud the healthcare system. No, bitch. I love healthcare system. I do everything right and ethical by the book. So I, I can't say no more. Because okay. you know they have to try to come for your job. Girl, like they done tried many times already. Girl, these hoes is bothered. I'm so glad I do everything by the book and I love my career. Right. Because, baby, these hoes, man, child, they say I pull a medical record. Baby, any bitch that know anything that know anything about healthcare know that if you pull a medical record or uh, request a, me a medical record, there's a uh, electronic receipt of it, okay? Yep, footprint. Oh, girl. So, girl, keep doing what y'all doing, because clearly y'all just mad at my bag, and y'all mad that y'all bag don't look like my bag. Period. And and all y'all BBLs, my organic BBL look better than some of y'all that paid ten and $12,000 for it, baby. So some of y'all need to go get y'all money back and ask me what the fuck I do. That's what y'all need to do. So anybody that want a BBL, just hit me up. I, I'll tell y'all how to do organic BBL. 
So y'all ain't got to wait for all this money, child. And Tiffany said, make sure they don't go cheap and get a good doctor, upkeep, and aftercare. Many don't do and waste all the money and time. Facts. And some of them, I'm trying to figure out the whole reasoning behind it. Like, y'all know y'all going to get old one day. That's because they pay okay. for it. <laughs> well, that part. And they, then their legs don't match. Like, how you going to get a BBL done, but then your titties touching your knees, like... Oh, girl, girl, he pee. <laughs> what to that? I was trying to figure out why the hell you said BBL is killing black women on a higher rate than any other race. Oh, wow. And you want to know other than that? The, hey, the BBL... Hold on. Hold on for one second. Keela, <laughs> get your ass out of my face <laughs> and go play. We got 3,000 square feet in this motherfucking house. And you don't have to be in the 10 square feet that I'm in right now. So with that being said, go find you a fucking toy and leave me the hell alone for about five minutes. <laughs> girl, I be, girl, I be trying to be great. I, I told you my PTSD be kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> I think people be tuning in just to see you go to hell off on killing sometimes. I swear to God. <laughs> you said it's 3,000 what? Square feet. And she picked the 10 I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Julia. And I'm here acting like I'm fucking feeling hurt. My feelings hurt too, cause you won't give me a little me time. <laughs> yeah. You know, it made me start coughing. Now that I drink all my juice. Oh my god, girl, you inhale that juice. That's why that nigga like you. Cause baby, if you suck that juice the way, if you suck on him the way you suck that juice, why is you in my business? Stay focused. BBLs, cosmetic work. That's what we talking about. We talk about how a lot of these black women are dying behind cosmetic surgery. That's what we. But talking you know, about. but honestly, the reason, but the reason why is that a lot of these females and a lot of these men go out and get the BBLs, right? And it's a healing process. And most of them don't give their body time to heal. Most of them, after they get it, they want to go out with they hoochie shorts on, trying to show it off. Baby, your ass supposed to be in the bed motherfucking resting and healing because you're swollen. And on top of that, they don't get the aftercare. They don't get the massages that they're supposed to get. They don't follow up with their surgeon like the, they're supposed to. They're going across seas and getting surgery done and then traveling back. They... They're not taking care of their bodies. I'm like, is it that deep? And and the reason and the reason they go overseas is because overseas you can get it for little or nothing. See over here, if you want it done professionally, like most hoes, no, no, to no shade to y'all women, but most hoes can't afford a, a doctor like Doctor Miami. Most of y'all can't afford it. to lack of knowledge and preparation. Fact. Yeah, most of y'all can't afford a doctor like Doctor Miami. Because see, y'all be wanting that Keisha Keisha Kior look. And come back looking like Humpty Dumpty sat on a motherfucking wall and crack. I don't understand why they are not. <clears throat> I had to, like, at one time, no, I mean, no lot. I had wanted my body done. I was like, oh, I want my, my I want my stomach back flat. I want, you know. What? Oh, I. Oh, we gonna act like you ain't had no cosmetic surgeries, bitch. Oh, we, oh, we I act, wish oh, I did. Pretended. Don't oh, we pretend. Okay, okay. The BBL half off. I knew women getting BBLs and the doctors don't speak English. A BBL is not a death sentence, but people want to take the cheap way out just to get a nice body. Preaching no where they high blood. But you know what? Let, what did you say in. these? Let me go ahead and say this. I'm about to make some of y'all mad. Because some of y'all women, including the host, sound like y'all mad and jealous because they got BBLs. And y'all, 
Girl, I'm not. If that's what's what they the want, team? I mean, I'm what's not. Real... I never will be. I'm just, just playing, y'all. I'm being petty. I'm just like, I'm being. <laughs> <laughs> you can read these comments because they coming in and my head hurt. Now I ain't lying. Girl. Okay. Preach. And no damn, and no damn well, they got high blood pressure before they go and put uh, and put you at high risk for things to go wrong. Yeah, it, it's a preparation. It's a preparation. <laughs> Look at Raquel Boy guy. It's right, a preparation. Raquel. And a lot of and a lot of females don't do the preparation properly before they do it. And that's the biggest thing because people think you, you can't just go and have surgery like that done. Like that's a whole lifestyle change. That's just like when people have what you call it when they have part of their um stomach cut off. Uh what you call it? Lipo is that lipo? Gastric bypass. no, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You say the gastric bypass. Baby, if you're gonna go have a gastric bypass. You also have to it's have a whole living change, change in your lifestyle. You can't go do a gastric bypass. Gastric and then, like, you about to eat and bust down 10 motherfucking chicken wings like you was prior. Baby, instead of 10 chicken wings, you, you only can eat one chicken wing and a piece of lettuce, okay? Y'all got to stop eating all this shit after y'all have had this. It's one chicken wing, a piece of lettuce, and some water. <laughs> the bug. <laughs> Not no shrimp and grits like I just had. No, not no shrimp. If you're going to eat shrimp and grits, you eat two grits and one shrimp. The fuck? <laughs> two grits. <laughs> right, and stretch their stomach back out. Hey, <laughs> Leah. <laughs> no, but for real, for real, um, before I start reading, like before I start, um, they stretch their stomach. Right. Before I start reading, before I start paying attention more to um right, Tiffany, with these two grits. Um, I start paying more attention. I'm like, hell, before I even put myself at risk for something that's not medically necessary, I I just keep I just keep my fupa. Like it's not that serious. Well, I take my ass to the gym and back away from the table, which um I'm having a hard time doing. Hey Abby. Well baby, baby, I when Don't you know, get when you when you announced that you was in a relationship, I expected you to gain about 30 pounds because you know when you're in a relationship and it's a good relationship, you know you gain a little weight. So I'm I'm hoping you don't. But you know, it's kind of inevitable. Like when you're in a good relationship, bitch, you gain a little weight because you know you be in love. And then when the niggas start acting up, then that's when you lose all the weight because you be stressed the fuck out. And get ready for that next relationship. <laughs> that's when I started back going to the gym the last time when I had got rid of that last one. I was like, oh, look. Let me let me get my shit back together. He is funny. Baby, don't let me tell y'all. Me. Don't don't boost him up. Baby, but let me tell y'all. These <laughs> hoes go to the gym. They put on. They get they little sport bras and shit, and they go to the gym, and they and they be working out. I, you, I look at them when they in the gym. I be like, oh, she ain't got no man right now. <laughs> Baby, as soon as they get a man, bitch, they get ghost for about six months. Then you see him back in the gym, and you be like, what the fuck, girl? I got you here. Girl, them 30 pounds be counting. <laughs> Why are you so damn ignorant? Girl, I'm just telling y'all, I just be telling y'all tease and truth, baby. I don't be doing it. Hey, hair lost weight and got finer. <laughs> baby, I was at the gym one day and this hoe had on a whole motherfucking body suit and it had on her heels in the gym. Pra dance practicing in the room with her heels and shit on. Baby, she was bad now. She was bad. I ain't go. I'm, I'm not taking that away. She was a bad bitch. But baby, I saw that hoe recently and I was like, oh, she must be in a relationship, girl. Uh, and, and then I went wrong because that hoe was back in there with them heels and she had gained a few pounds, but she was still doing it. But bitch, no tea, no shade. Let me shut up. I'm saying too much. I'm probably <laughs> talking about somebody's cousin, child. <laughs> Thanks, match it down to the drawers at the gym and then they be prego in four months. Lord. Mm. But yeah, um, like I said before, I wanted to get it I wanted to get it done because I wanted my twenty year old body back, but then I had to realize like, hold on, I done had a whole set of twins. I'm a whole mom. I'm in my forties. Ain't no way. You must be looking around for Keila or something because you about to get that damn neck snap. <laughs> Wait a minute, girl. You say you want the 20... Baby, try to say 30-year body because in 20 years, I remember how your body was in 20 years, girl. It's giving the same vibe, girl. What you a damn lie. 
You are Girl, you right Why that start up with me tonight if you want to? Women work out most after a break, start a new business, start motivational speaking. Yeah. That's true, Damon. I can't even lie. Because we got to put our mind elsewhere. Claudia, don't laugh with him because I'm about to slap the shit out of him. But yeah, um... Girl, you know what? This about BBLs. I'm so sick of these. It's not about, about BBLs. It's about cosmetic surgery in general. But BBLs, I see a lot of men doing the BBLs now. That's what well, made what me that? jump on this topic. Well, what about the women that I had babies five years ago and they still talking about they got baby weight walking around, bitch? I'm yeah, sick of it. Because we ain't got time to damn go to the gym because we too busy running behind these babies. <laughs> it's baby weight. Oh, that's what you're sticking to? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you, because we do. You can't speak on it if you ain't had no baby. Baby, if I could get pregnant, bitch, I have about 20 kids right now. We bitch. know. I'm glad. Oh. I, baby, if some of y'all men could get pregnant, y'all will find out who gay and who not, bitch, on the low. Because some of y'all men, some of y'all men like more sperm than I can count. Oh, shit. Did you go with that damn too? <laughs> Julia, don't start your shit tonight. I just said, fact, what she said? Thanks. My hormones didn't um, strain out until my twins turned six. Girl. Men be getting butt lifts. Yes, that's the new thing. Who is D I feel like I know this name. Who is D Debo, Derek Debo? I feel like I had to argue with him one night. Yeah, he did one there. I argue with. Oh, that's your friend from Atlanta, the one that said he gathered me. No. Oh, okay. I don't know who he means. Okay. What well, Debo? What man you? What man you looking at that you know they got butt lips? Let's talk about it. Debo, what you doing looking at me and butts? I ain't got no butt lips, but mine sit up. It's real perky. Oh hell, here we go. Yeah, they the men are getting um abs, they getting butts. Now baby, now baby, I'm I might I might have to go give me some little ass bitch. If I give me some ass bitch and y'all see me on live and I got on me a little halter top like shirt bitch. Oh uh, who's like oh bitch you eat. Huh? Oh yours? Mm-mm. Oh yours? Mm-mm. Is Keila back on him? Or is this a ghost in the camp? <laughs> this is a ghost on his team. <laughs> Bitch, I'm trying. Never said I was looking at was the inquiry to the topic. Well, Debo, inquire about some other motherfucking shit. Because I, if you say it, I'm going to talk on it. The fuck? Oh, my God. Debo, Why I you want to smoke with everybody me. today? Why you want to smoke with everybody today? Me. Just saying, I never he heard such a thing. Me. I right. Me. I didn't hear about it either, um, Debo. It was just brought to my attention. I seen it. I was like, oh, my God. Don't pay Junior no attention. He on one today because um, this, this girl called 504405 or whatever her name is just read his ass. No, my one her male name friend has to be at home. She the whole in New Orleans. Baby, if you ever want if you ever want some pussy, just look up China 504 when you go to New Orleans. She'll give it to you. And her husband need to leave her. Her husband need to divorce her. And he, she married? Her husband, her husband too good of a man. Her husband younger than her. Her husband only with her for the PPP loan, so I understand. I'm stuck. I don't know why these bitches be coming for me that's got PPP loans trying to act like they cash you. Her name is China 504. If, if you ever... If you ever just need a hoe when you're in a, um, New Orleans, she the, she the biggest hoe of them all. She the queen of the hoes in New Orleans. Just look her up, bitch. She'll suck, fuck, whatever you want. And she'll do it for little or nothing. She might even do it for free. Y'all, I can't read these comments right now because I'm sitting here like... I'm reading them for you, friend. Don't worry. They just laughing right now. They say... 
they say I'm shooting shooting from the hip or something. I don't know. Child, I'm just speaking facts. Y'all know I speak facts. I don't have time for that read and subliminals and stuff. Baby, if I, if it's up and stuck with a hoe, I'm just going to call a hoe name, okay? If it's up and stuck with you, like when it's up and stuck with me and Debo, you see I call his name. I ain't got time for subliminals, okay? I don't. I don't do all that. I don't do all that. It's up and stuck with me and Repo. Repo, a fake-ass nigga. Where Repo at? Get Repo over here, y'all. It's up and stuck. I'm, I'm, it's 2022. When I got an issue with a nigga, I'm just calling y'all by y'all name. Now, I ain't got time to do subliminals. I'm too grown. I'm 34 years old. I ain't got time to do no subliminal shit. Now, you keep your gun for my protection, baby, please. Because these hoes be mad, upset. These hoes start with me, and then they can't take my mouth. Then they be ready to fight. And I, I like it. I live for it. Bitch, don't come for me unless I send for you. Or unless you writing a check for me. If you ain't writing a check for me, don't cut me and don't come for me. Hey, y'all, just tuning in. We will talk about cosmetic surgery for SBBLs and all that with men and women. And he's on his, Junior's on 10,000 tonight. He's been reading all day long. So I don't think he's he has actually came down yet. And he done cuss out Keela too. Right. Debo, that sound hot. I need somebody to piss in my corn flakes. That sound hot, Debo. Debo, stop, because that's turning me on. Stop, Debo. I'm trying to respect you because I know you straight and all that shit. So stop. Cause I'm I'm on one tonight, Debo. I need a nut. I'm back the fuck up. Hoes fucking with me. We talking about BBLs and cosmetic, and it's it's just it's just it's it's messing with my PTSD right now. Oh yeah, you know when you have a BBL, it, um, Leah, it, they be hard. They body be hard because they don't do the right the like what Tay was saying. They don't go and get the massages and stuff like they're supposed to after the fact. Y'all, I'm so speechless tonight. I'm just sitting here looking at my bestie, and I'm like, "What the hell they done did to him?" Y'all, somebody send my somebody send my best friend some some naked pictures so she can send them to me. <laughs> and so, if you want me to see it, but you don't want to send it to me because you don't want to be classified as gay, send it to Tay. She afforded to me. It fluffs later. Not all of them, Ra Raquel. Mm -mm. Well, baby, my. My soul. We ain't talking about yours. Nobody's talking about your ass. We talk about cosmetic surgery. If you have not had cosmetic surgery, we are not talking about you. Shut up. Girl, why you telling me shut up? That hurt my feelings. <laughs> you ain't got no damn feelings tonight. You a lie. <laughs> not the twenty two hundred dollar ones. Kid, right you know, rough, go get you a milk bone, bitch. I'm, baby, you yawned and I smell all your breath. Move. No, please don't send no damn pics to me. No, don't send no pics. I don't want no pics. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, please don't. I'm going to air your ass out. You send me any kind of pics. What about that picture I sent you yesterday, though, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I had to send that to Leah. <laughs> Girl, I'm not No, Leah was here. I said, Leah, look. Look what Julia said. Leave him alone. I can't. Let me tell y'all. Y'all y'all better be glad I'm on here because Junior has no filter. He has no chill. None. <laughs> Cause he be dead serious, y'all. Y'all just don't know to have none, and he could repeat anything he done told you. Time you start talking about, it, he like, no, that's not what I said. What I said was, what what TikTok that is that? That part, baby. I need to start making some TikToks. I I I never got into the TikTok thing, but I I really need to start making it. I been because, told you you needed to, but you don't listen to me. I'm just your bestie. But I'm surprised ain't nobody made no gift about me yet, bitch. With the, with the shit I be saying and the words and, and the looks I be having. Why all these bitches got gifts and I ain't got one about me yet? 
Y'all be y'all be jealous of real people that entertain. Y'all be jealous of me. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Ooh, that was so un un lady man like whatever you call me shit. Whatever y'all call me, that was so un unlike me. I'm sorry. Right, he does this in person too. Is this not just online? It's not. I think I'm like the calmest one out of all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, let me know. Is this like, like a lot for social media night or something, girl? Because it's not giving. Let me know what's, what's really I think team. I'm the calmest one of all my friends. <laughs> Oh, I thought you was like Debo was your homeboy. Debo said that's BS. Clearly, he's not too much of your homeboy. Right. And you always be taking up for Debo when he come to me. Girl, see, I told you stop taking up for them niggas because them niggas, you see how quick they flip on you? Right. Laugh a lot of honest friends. I am honest, but at the same time, I'm sweet. Girl, why you got on all this red? Don't red me. Stop. Yeah, stop trying me. Oh. <laughs> I don't know all your friends, and I know that's a lie. No, I'm like, I am. Back to back to cosmetic surgery. Oh, I'm mad about mine, though. I was supposed to get a, uh... hey, Shay. Yeah, we talk about cause I am the um calmest friend though. <laughs> I had to say someone like today, would you be? You know what? I'm sorry, this is a little off topic. Hold hold on for one second. <laughs> he must have just put Keely in the cage. Leah, stop telling my damn business. Hey, how are you guys doing? What I miss? I'm at work. You the common friend out of who? Okay, Shay, okay. don't do that. I am oh. the common friend. Is Dion still living? Because I, I ain't heard from him. I saw him in years. Who? Dion. Dion who? The light skin, light bright guy. The tall, light, light skin guy. They used to, he went out to the club with me, you and Leah one night. D? Yeah, him. Ain't yeah, he's him? he's getting ready to be on what show? Oh my God! Hold on, the Bad Boys of Houston. Not that ratchet motherfucking show that they was. You mean the one that they had on YouTube? Don't make me lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get it for real. You talking about the show that Milan? You talking about the show that Zeus Network had to put out a statement about Milan Christopher, and then and then they was in Houston being ghetto fighting and shit. Oh, girl, that's beneath me. This D right here. Oh, girl, they, they was doing too much fight for me. I was like, oh, girl, I'm glad I ain't go to audition, bitch. See? Because, baby, baby, they was doing too much. They was doing too much fighting, girl. Girl, it was giving ghetto at its finest. It was giving ghetto out the hood in Houston. No, man. Oh, no, no shade to D. But, bitch, if y'all if y'all don't believe me, all y'all got to do is Google Bad boys of Houston audition, bitch. Them hoes was fighting down in real life in the street and all. That was ghetto. That was ghetto and that was beneath me. I'm sorry. No tea, no shade. And, and Christopher Milan. Now, hold up. You think I'm lying? Hold on. I'm about, to see you. I'm about to see you something real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, um. Who just said, well, I don't know. I think that may be Cap, but about being the calmest friend, I love you, though. Girl, I am the calmest friend. Yo, get him. Tamika, I can't do nothing with him. I be trying. They're doing an audition for Bad Boy Atlanta now, I believe. Had anyone watch, watching had the BBA? What was your experience? Thank you, Damon. I'm trying to get back to um topic. I, I was supposed to get a breast reduction, and my surgeon 
canceled. I was supposed to be getting it done next month. My surgeon canceled because he's getting ready to relocate to North Carolina. So I was mad about that. And he closing his clinic here. But Junior went off to go find something. I want a BBL just get a recovery process. I don't give a if people know I had one or not. True. I mean, I'm not saying don't get one. I'm just saying just be careful. I've been the support travel person to help post-surgery. Yeah, and that's the thing about it. a lot of people, they they don't take care of themselves afterwards. And they just they just getting it. I don't know. Anybody else anybody on here had one? I don't want one. At one time I did, but I don't want one no more. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, he sent me the whole damn thing, y'all. Why reduction back problems? Yeah, back problems, and they hit, like, they heavy. They be hurting my chest. It giving me problems with my um, it was my asthma. I'm afraid of, because a friend of mine had one from New Mexico, and there were results were not to her liking. All 11 of my friends had cosmetic surgery uh-uh did you get what i sent you yeah i was reading it but then the comments started coming in oh did you read it out loud no i'm a plastic surgery consultant plastic surgery recovery nurse i've helped with a lot of women after surgery Plastic surgery is close to my heart. I'm definitely an advocate for it. I just believe people need to be educated before going into surgery. Fact. Girl, that could be your side hustle. Don't do it. And they need to. And they need to stop lying on their um medical history, too. Was it good? Oh. Excuse me, it was. Oh, that's the second time. You so disrespectful. I'm a nigga. What you expect? You th just because I'm gay. For you, I can't to, be a nigga. for you not to be. That don't mean you have to be disrespectful because you a nigga. Do you try with people who have BBLs? The youngest and oldest client you had. Okay. Sis, you might need to come up. You getting a whole lot of questions. Girl, and if you come up, I'm just letting you know we check credentials and everything. How? Oh, so I hope you ain't lying. We check credentials. Like boo. They are educated. They don't care what happens. There. Mm. What the hell is you chewing? He said you can check her credentials. She good. Don't work, baby. I already got somebody behind the scenes working. We checking. I live. <laughs> yeah, y'all just don't know about his mouth. He get on my nerves. So imagine whenever we out in public and somebody come up and say they know me. Say who the is this? And why they standing right here? And why they acting like they know you? I'm confused. That's why they lie on the intake form. Facts. Youngest early 20s, oldest 50s. Oh, wow. Julia, Julia mouth fucked up. He got me beat. Alexa said, yeah, my phone. I'm really not like that, y'all. I'm really professional. In real life, I'm really real professional when it comes to my job. That's your job, but off the clock. That's why we always be getting into stuff because of his mouth. Not, not one thing we got into because of me. That you didn't start and I had to finish. Name um, one situation. The, la the last incident when we was at the ATM because of your mouth. Girl, that was your fault. You uh, it was your fault. You, no, 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 no. You could have drove through the right way and I could have passed through my ATM car, but no. Every life he trips me out too real and you know I love real. Right. 
he just out of control though. Like I said, every time we go somewhere, it's a problem. He always doing something. He ain't got no call. That ATM situation was not my fault. That man saw that, me in the yes, ATM. Yes, it was your fault all day long. No, it was his fault for thinking he was going to be cute and make me back the fuck up. It was his fault. It wasn't my fault. All he had to do was be patient and wait. Now I tell your mom done got us in situations before life a lot. Now, Shay, you ain't supposed to be telling that business now. Thank you, Shay. I don't, I don't I'm glad somebody that, I'm here being truthful. I don't recall that. Girl, you never recall when you started. Shut up. Pat my weave like you doing. The fuck? My what? Weave. Girl, why you act like I want to repeat myself? Girl, y'all be killing me. You always, no, ain't no y'all. You always be trying to play with me on this live, but keep playing with me. But yeah, but girl, yeah, so back to BBLs. But yeah, D, I love you, D. No T, no shade to you, D. But that show was definitely giving ghetto vibes with all the fighting they had on YouTube that they was doing out there. I, oh, but anyway, I love you, D. You know, shout out to you. Do your big one. Make your coin. If ho Hopefully it come with the coin. I don't know. You know, you have to be careful with Milan Christopher sometime, bitch. But anyway, um, anyway, <clears throat> do this still say in Columbia? Mm-hmm. Oh, Even right there at the um at the hair store right across from the mall. It's not the hair store, but the um it's a boutique that he be in there and in the back they have like wigs and all that. And he be doing females makeups back there. And oh, then he be flying out too. So you're doing the most on your tape. He always be trying to, but he ain't doing shit. He lives in Columbia. Who? Junior? No, Junior live in Atlanta. Oh, girl, I could never come back to Columbia, girl. Columbia too ghetto for me. I'm bougie now. No, it's just not enough gays here for him. Let's be honest. Oh, uh, no, no, Columbia got too many DL men for me. You know, I'm a trophy. You can't hide me, bitch. I ain't want to be hid. I'm a trophy, bitch. If if I'm on your dick or by your side, bitch, you everybody needs to know. Period. <laughs> Some, some of y'all hoes need to take lessons from me because y'all be letting these men hide y'all and y'all be the side pieces. And that's why y'all go get the BBLs because y'all felt like y'all wasn't good enough to keep a man. And then y'all let these men hide y'all. So now y'all got to go get BBLs so, cause, so the man can let y'all come out in front. Baby, if the nigga don't let you come out in front, center stage, when you got him, you oh, just okay. where you at. So do you think that women get BBL, they get cosmetic work done for themselves, or you think they do it for the men because the men idolize those types? Oh, they, they do it because they want to look like the Cardi B's and Megan, the Stallions, and all them type of people. They do. And no, you know, Shay, Megan said she ain't never had no surgery done. Megan said that is organic, bitch. So, you know, the girls be really mad about Megan. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if Megan lying. She might be lying. Yeah, that what they said. That what they said that she ain't had no work done. So, <laughs> Leah, stop texting me while I'm on here trying to get me to read stuff. They do it to shade other women. Is Damon a man or a female? A man. Cause I'm trying to act. I'm trying to figure out why he trying to act like he ain't never wanted a female to go get a BBL because he was embarrassed to her. Oh. Men not, I, not I, all of y'all like natural. I, Stop, Damien. Stop, Damien. You know, I hate when niggas say they like natural, and then you see they got, then they girlfriend be full of lace front, makeup, big titties because she went had surgery, big ass. I hate when men say they like natural, but then they be with the women that be, the whole body be fake, including the eyes, to the feet, to the hair. It be it be giving real shameful vibe, like sir. Now you said you like natural, but your girl not giving natural nothing. And then y'all, well, they cheat on like the ones that look like that. They cheat on the fake ones. They cheat with the fake ones. Correction. She said, "I'm this. I'm so displeased with myself after I, having my baby. I know I can probably work out. This was in my first baby after the third. 
Girl, let me tell so, y'all. Like, like, stop being, stop being ashamed of your bullet wounds, wounds, your child wounds, your baby stretch marks. Baby, God. some of y'all got baby stretch marks and it's sexy, okay? Baby, make it sexy to yourself. Put you a little cocoa butter on there. Make that stuff tighten up a little bit. Get a little workout in, baby. And flush your stretch marks because these hoes that, that's talking about they had 10 babies and they got no stretch marks. Most of them, nine times out of 10, I had surgery. So stop judging yourself to a, a hoe that's fake, okay? No tea, no change, okay? Go off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, bitch, I read that wrong, baby, because when I saw size 14, I ain't even going to tell you how I read that. Um, Damien, stop talking to me. Talk to Tay. I'm so sick baby, of you. Baby, because I read it. He said, I well, I speak to me. Bad, I love bitch. natural size 14 and uh, stretch parts and rolls. Shut up. Baby, y'all can't say nothing about Shut no up. size with no game. Shut up. Child, I done had this oatmeal cream pie stomach since 05. I'm cool with that. But the bulge got to go laugh out loud. Girl, let me tell you, I done got so comfortable <laughs> that I wear two pieces and all now. Y'all going to get all this. I mean, y'all going to get what it's given. That's it. I, I can't. I mean, I'm not going to do all that. I'm not going to kill myself trying to get somewhere that I know damn well that that's pre-baby body. I'm not doing that. I don't even have the time. I'm too busy. I got to clean up the house. I got to cook. Where your friend that used to come to the club? Which which one? What she look like? Give me a height. Then we'll know for real. Laugh or laugh. You know I can't fake it. Oh, you talking to Shay. I'm about to say. <laughs> that means he reading into something. <laughs> I know that. that means, when I say I know Junior so well, y'all, I know Damien him so got a well. lot to say tonight. Damien, just come up. You got a lot to say. Just come up, Damien. You got a lot to say. Y'all, when I say I know Junior looks so well, I can read him without reading him. Right. I got a question. Did y'all shed a lot to these groups, these freak groups and stuff y'all in? Because I'm trying to figure out why we ain't got but 20 people looking at us. Y'all. It's more than that. I, I mean, went back and I looked. They don't, re they don't read the real numbers. So you get to a certain number. Cause when you go back, like that night that we had hit, what what it was like sixteen, seventeen hundred, when Leah was on here showing her ass, it never got over thirty people that night on here. But trust and believe, they was in there. Hey, Dada. Girl, Leah, Leah, get old. She always come on to show her ass, child. That's just Leah. You know. <laughs> I be trying to be the classy one. Oh, really? I already know. I already know what you and Leah gonna give, so I try to be the classy one. <laughs> No, I'm always the classy one. You the one. And Leah pop in every once in a while when somebody be trying her. Or when she, when she got some shit to say or she want to talk shit, she'll pop in. Baby, Leah been, because last time Leah popped up in here and did all that shit, that <laughs> nigga was all up in my DM trying to explain himself. Like, bro, I don't, even know, Remember he I, don't, bro, I don't even know you. You ain't got to explain a damn thing to me. If you ain't trying to give me no wee wee, I don't need to know your side of no story because I don't even know you. If you ain't trying to give me a wee wee with, with a part of your check, we ain't got nothing to talk about on this end. Brother. Oh, God. Because what y'all... Remember he video chat me and you that next morning early. I hate we was on the phone and we was like, well, why you calling us? Because then soon as soon as you soon as I respond to the straight trying to explain stuff with my DM, then the next thing they gonna do is go live time out. Oh, that faggot tried to talk to me. No, nigga, you hit me up. I ain't trying to talk to you. Stop it. Yeah, this is true. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hey, Shika. <laughs> mm. 
Y'all, do you be showing oh, up real to, bad? Baby, they have to specify when they say words like that. Because, baby, you know when they say beautiful, I, you know I live, bitch. Y'all have to specify who y'all talking to. When they to. said T afterwards, so he did specify. He said T. Bitch, how you know my name, nickname ain't T. I know. How you know, Danny. I give, I give Danny. the boys a whole bunch of different. That cannot be true. You make my head hurt. That's cute. Junior gonna mess around and get banned. That's what's gonna happen. Cause his mouth. That's why I be trying to clean it up, y'all. Y'all just don't know. Junior mouth is horrible. Girl, I got another page. It don't matter. Girl, I got I got, I got another page. I, I the only way they gonna get me is that they they got they better ban all these motherfuckers. I got a whole other page, baby. It is what it is. Who not wants to see? Huh? Oh, Dada, Day Day, Cuckoo, whatever his name is. He was trying to be funny just now. No, he was letting it be known he ain't talking to you. <laughs> Bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to still take it at you saying, hey, beautiful to me. Hey, what's up? Don't I'm so me. sick of like, you. Like, I will, like, I will go still say you were talking to me. You were talking to me. The fuck? Baby, y'all already know my confidence, baby. You can never, you can never make me feel like I'm not that nigga or that bitch. Cause I'm the best of both motherfucking worlds. Straight and gay. Baby, when you look look up the dictionary and look up the best of both worlds, my picture. Yeah, I think we're gonna wrap the show up at night because he's making it about him and he getting on my last ass nerve. Well girl, you the one talking about the bitch. Shut up. Why we was gonna be able to talk about our whole album. Girl. What we gonna talk about? You ain't got no BBL, so why you worried about these hoes out here got BBLs killing themselves? What we talking about? It's called bringing awareness. Oh, so they might think good. twice about it. Oh, well, we was bringing awareness. And so they could be secure in their body, and they won't take that risk. Well, well y'all get an organic BBL like me, and you know, just work out, and you will be all right. Okay, awareness. We We want to bring awareness. I think I'm about to order that um Keisha Kior thing. All right, see you later, Day Day. Da -da. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> she in a relationship, so she don't want to talk to you outside of this live. <laughs> oh, Lord, if you won't get them together, I don't know who will. <laughs> Do women get? I'm gonna say all of the above. Oh, <laughs> I'm a, baby. Tyrese made a song about me. I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. Please don't make me say get Tyrese. When he wrote that song, he made it about me. How I go, Junior? I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you make me sick, boy. I swear to God, you make me sick. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they get it for all the above. Some women get it so they can feel better about themselves. They used to their pre-baby body. Um, they want their clothes to fit a certain type of way. Um, and sometimes they get it the men for men so they can keep their men, so they can attract the men because they think that's what all men want. And some women get it just because, I mean, that's just the, what they want to do. They well, want to go. You know what I'm going to say is when it comes to cosmetic, do it because you feel like you like something for yourself. Don't do it because you're doing it for no man. Don't do it because you're doing it for no female. Don't do it because you do it for your family. Do it because you 
you tr you're trying to gain some type of confidence about yourself back. But here's the thing, you know, them you should, don't stop nothing. I was about to say, if you don't find a, a find who you are in life as a person, as an individual, and if you don't learn yourself, it don't matter what type of surgery you can do, you're going to still feel ugly on the inside. So what I can say is that you need to try to love yourself for who you are and where you are in life now so that if you do do something like that, you're going to continue to love yourself. So I feel like I feel like they should make a lot of females go through counseling before Thanks. they even do stuff like that. Just It's just like when females want to have hysterectomies and they of a certain age, a doctor will tell you, well, no, the only way I'm going to do it is if you go through counseling or whatever, because you have to understand once I do this hysterectomy, you will never be able to have a child. The, a doctor will deny a female a hysterectomy. And I'm only saying that because um, hysterectomy, believe it or not, can be considered cosmetic. You have some females that want to do it just because they want to sit on Twitter and only fans that get bust down and have nuts all in them all day. No shame. Is, is there any lies detected? Lies? If it's lies detected, no? Okay. So with that being said, I feel like they should make you go through, um, you know, psychological training or awareness or some type of appointments you know, AA meetings or something. I mean, you know, I don't know what they call those type of meetings, but y'all know what I'm saying. I ain't talking about alcohol. But anyway, you, they should make you go through some type of well-being training to make sure that you actually love yourself and you're doing it for you and not because of other people or whatever. Um, hell, back in the day, I used to want to do cosmetic surgery. And then one day I woke up and I said, I'm a bad little nigga. What the fuck? Baby, fuck these niggas. If they don't like it for what it is, it is what it is. Keep the fuck moving. Cause I'm talking about yeah, I need it. I need to go to the gym and oh, period. So I mean, I I think is I do think it's a great topic. I think Miss Myers should have came on and actually spoke because she got a lot of stuff to say in the comments. No, not she has a lot of factual <laughs> stuff and she has a lot of knowledge of it. Mm -hmm. so, so I think she should have came on this boat, but I mean, maybe her lace not on together, or maybe she got her bonnet on. I don't know what's going on, but we understand, boo. We love you. Y'all, please excuse him. Y'all know how he is. If you have not tuned in before, he's like this all the time. And he's like turned up one like notch her. tonight. I like her. He turns it up a notch tonight because he got red earlier today, so he's on that type of vibe. <laughs> you mean I read a whole day on the day? Because I'm waiting for that hoe to respond. I want her to respond. That's what I want. <laughs> why why she sitting there going live, making some blue no silence is gold and moving silence. Oh, you ain't gotta move in silence, bitch, because you want not enough for that. Now do that shit in the open and be and be woman enough to say you motherfucking did it, hoe. And get beat down. But you Baby, know I ain't gonna I'm do all that talking. Baby, when we going to New Orleans? When he's yeah, we're going to have a meet and greet in New Orleans, y'all. So we going to Hell, no, we ain't. No, we ain't. We have a meet no, we not. Can yeah. you always say, can you have a meet and greet in New Orleans? You just want to be a hoe. Thank you. But thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to wrap up tonight's show. Um, Girl, I got five more minutes. You not about to end live with me, Earth. I got five minutes to say what I want to say. <laughs> That's because you about to turn this into something else. <laughs> Girl, you always want to hurt Did you whip your neck around like that, though? Do it again. Do it again. I have to get the time. Like, Girl, I got five minutes to speak. <laughs> <laughs> y'all y'all just don't know he be stressing me the hell out I'm I, an angel, uh, I, re I really don't do nothing to nobody I yes, really don't bother yes. nobody y'all I really don't in person I'm a very kind hearted person I give people my last I give you the shirt off my back baby if you 
if my enemy walked in and knocked on my door and said they hungry, I will feed you. I'm a very nice person, but what I don't respect and what I can't respect is when bitches fuck with me and I ain't fucking with them. I can vouch for that. So, no, I enjoyed this. Um, y'all, y'all know we'll be back Monday. I, we don't know what the topic is yet, but I'm sure I'll, it'll be something about jealous hoes or something. Y'all already know I'm going to bring y'all some good shit. It's going to be about, and I see, I see you went live, boo. So when I do the team PK, don't, you go get an invitation, just press itself because it's going to be me. And, you know, um, you might want to get your headphones because somebody might try to read you because they know you're my best friend. But I got my headphones because I'm going to eat them. I'm going to slay them tonight for you. So don't worry. Um, but y'all, y'all need to download Be Go Live and catch Tay. She is an official host on Be Go Live. And y'all need to come support your girl if you love her and help her get some money over there. And if you want to become a host like Tay, hit me up. I will talk to you about the pay chart and everything else. Um, the and it's thing free. About it, is, it is free. I run my own agency. The good thing about now, now the gifts that y'all get is real money. Um, so if y'all ever been on like apps like tag and stuff it's the same type of concept so i do want to say this like you have to be entertaining because people not just go throw you beans like you really gotta be entertaining or be drama if you drama or entertain a bitch you gonna make a good a good profit over there if you just born if you just born and looking in the sky baby you probably not gonna make no money but if you're a good entertainer you know i, I want to get like claudia over there because you know i think claudia and her husband could do a host account together i think that'd be real cute to, for them to have like relationship type panels and stuff like that because they marry. I right. think that'd be real cute. And though. they both entertain it and they both funny as hell. Like they both um, real, like raw. So you know it's really raw. You know, so I'm, I'm gonna be expecting y'all to DM Tay saying, hey y'all wanna see what what I'm talking about, what I'm hosting about and um you know No y'all DM him. Started... Don't DM me. I got enough DMs going on. These your friends, so let them DM you and you talk to me so I can They're tell your them what friends to do, too. Homie. You done been talking to them for how long? Girl, I don't know these hoes. You gonna know them if they coming up on your agency? Oh, oh okay then. Me. Well, I need I need nine more people for this month, y'all. So please, if you're interested in making money on social media, I do need nine more people as an agency owner. I do have a quote I have to meet every every month. As far as we bring the quote, my quote is actually bringing active people in. Let me explain. If I bring you in and you don't actually be active and do the hours, it's still it's almost like. I'm still short. You get what I'm saying? So I bring eight people in and only two people actually hey, I, I still I still need another seven seven or eight people to meet my quota because they it don't they only count active hosts, okay? So but again, you can make up to twenty four thousand dollars. Yeah, he's okay? talking about me. I ain't did my hours yet this month, but I'm gonna get a man. No, I'm just saying in general, it's like shut up. <laughs> well, this is my first month this is my first month as an agency, so I'm not worried about you know, they're not gonna hold me they're not gonna start holding me accountable until after like the second month. So right now, you know, they give you time to basically build it because once you get it, you gotta get people in. And and my thing is I'm trying to bring talent from Facebook and IG. I'm trying to bring talent that's not already there. Um because I do want my agency to be a little different caliber than some of the other agencies that's already on that on that app. So with that being said, I'm trying to bring people in from other platforms. Um, so yeah. So if y'all interested, hit me up. I hit Taya up. Taya, make sure y'all get you know she gets you the information. Don't hit me get up. Me. Hit him up. His name is Tag in this um every live. I'm serious. I got enough DMs going on. People ask me to be a co-host. People ask me to be a special guest. I got enough going on. Hit Junior up on either one of his pages. He got plenty of time to do that. If y'all can't reach him, then reach out to me. But try him first. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. I said what I said. Girl, let me get my smoke together because I already see what it's giving tonight. Um, you you all give me about ten, about five or ten minutes so I can fix a new hookah. And get ready to slay these hoes. I need to go get my headphones. Girl, you might want to keep them on. on you might want to keep them on the side. Just in case, bitch. Because, you know, uh, dealing with my me. AirPods. Baby, dealing with me, you never know. You never know what you might get. Girl, somebody might come in there and try to read you just because they want to read me and can't. 
Hey, but yes, thank y'all for tuning in tonight. We will be back on Monday. Junior will be picking the topic for Monday and Tuesday. Girl, the topic for Monday gonna be why y'all jealous of me. Period. That's gonna be a cute topic. He'll be back with a real topic. Because we're not talking about his ass. <laughs> Girl, she, but thank y'all for tuning in. Friend, Share always, the live, tag a friend. So Please ignore his petty ass. Y'all know he's King Petty. But y'all have a good night. Thank y'all. Night, y'all.